Okay, I'm back. Just one more. Okay, one more. Um, I just wanted to do a really quick little review on this cute um, traditional checkbook. Okay, not checkbook wallet. Checkbook holder. Checkbook holder. Uh, remember those? Remember how this is how they looked, right? You had this side that had this, you know, these, and you would just put your stuff in there, put your little check thing over, and then you could do it on the other side too. And okay, so it actually does. I was looking earlier. Well, okay, first let me give you the measurements. This is a traditional size. You know, if y'all remember these, I don't know how old you are. I know all the younger generation, they probably don't even know what checks are. But, okay, so it's seven inches long and it is um, about three and a half inches across. And then, okay, so on the inside, like I said, you can put your check, your checks right here, or the register or whatever, or you could hang your checks out and then fit your register behind it because it's not that tight. You know how some of them were like kind of tight and you have to do one on either side. Well, this one you can do in both on one side. And, oh, okay, so it has this. Oh yeah, okay, I remember now. I was thinking that this slit was like where you could put a card, but it, it actually, okay, look. See, it goes like that, so you wouldn't want to. It's just for checks, just for your checkbook on this side, or your checks. But on the other side, it has two little, you know, slots for your cards. So you can put, you know, some down here, and then some up here. Now, these are not tight, so I could probably fit, okay, there's two. Um, let's see what else I got. I have several library cards, like one for each of the kids. Okay, so then I have, so there's three, and it's not, I don't, don't get me wrong, like I don't like to put so many cards in there that it's gonna stretch it out. I don't like to do that. And then, okay, so right now we have, what do I have? Four, four cards on that one. And then I'm gonna come up here to the top one and do the same thing, maybe. Okay, yeah, so one, two, and so you can see how they're going in nice and easy. Three, four, yeah. I personally would not do more than four. So let's say that you just have your ID and your most used debit card on the bottom and then like your backup cards or you know whatever on the back. And okay, uh, so I changed my mind. I guess you could actually use it as a wallet if you're carrying checks and whatnot because then you also have this part. You can stick your you know, your dollars and whatnot in here. So you got your checks on this side, you have your dollars in there, and then you have up to four cards in each of these two slots. And it's just your traditional size, it's not oversized, and it's actually pretty thin. So, you know, like for men, some men use these kind of wallets, like, you know, in their back pocket or whatever. So this would, this would work for that too, um, you know. And I guess if you didn't carry checks, you still could use, you know, this for your bills on this side, and then just your cards or whatever on that side. So anyway, just a quick little, you know, tour of this traditional checkbook, okay?